Greetings, 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 and Happy New Year to all of you beautiful sister lockers. Happy New Year and welcome into 2022. It is a beautiful, beautiful day out here in the little country town in which I have relocated to out here in the middle of nowhere in Georgia's where I am surrounded by cotton fields. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, I'm glad to have you here. If you are a veteran and are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all the love you are showing me. Thank you for all of your wonderful Happy New Year's messages and your Happy Holiday messages. Those of y'all that reach out to me, I just love it. And shout out to, in particular to Angela, I think is your name from last week who gave me a shout out. I was a little bit under the weather that day and it made my day. Ashley Johnson, shout out to you. And this morning, I got the most beautiful text message from, I believe her name, uh, Pamela Hicks. Yeah, shout out to Pamela. Pamela, I really wanted to share your text message. You put it as a, you actually submitted it as a review. And I wanted to, to share it because she was talking about this product, the Magical Hair Growth Serum, which by the way, is out of stock. I'm having trouble keeping up with the demand. This I hope will be back in by Friday, no later than Saturday, so orders can go out next week. But Pamela, shout out to Pamela Hicks says, I have been using the hair growth serum for about four months and I am amazed at the strength of my strands and sister locks. My hair is thicker, stronger, and growing. I'm so happy with this product. I just ordered two bottles because I gave my daughter one to try. So this is her second order in uh, very little time. If I go in, I can't recall when she made her last one, but she's implying that here. I love the smell too. I do have pictures, but I'm using my work computer. Hopefully I can add them later, Pam H. Now the funny thing about this, I don't like the smell of this. This is the premier product and this is the one I like the smell of. This was not made for smell. This is very medicinal, even though the therapeutic and medicinal effects of both of these rival one another, because some of you have more luck with this one. Some of you like this one more. Some of you use them both, but they are very different. Make sure if you're using the Magical Hair Growth Serum, you are spot treating areas where you have thinning. Ideally, you don't want this all over your scalp. It's not to say that you can't put it all over your scalp, but use it all over your scalp if you're having thinning. But one thing I will also say that you all hear me say all the time on this channel, when using anything that you use, don't listen to me, don't listen to your brother, don't listen to your uncle, don't listen to your sister, because all we can do is project our beliefs onto you. Figure out what works best for you. So if this works best and you want it all over your head, beautiful. Pamela says she likes the smell of this. I don't. So that just goes to show you the range of experiences that are possible when you choose what's right for you and you don't allow other people to choose for you. By the way, you can get these from the I Am Melanin Magic website. I Am Melanin Magic, shout out to hmm, Mrs. Moriga, Miss Catherine. Put your order in the mail. The people at the P.O. box said that your address was kind of crazy too, but we were going to take our chances. So please let me know when you get your order because we had to jump through some hoops to get you your order. And whoever got yours, they are at 59 East 59th Street in Brooklyn. They have <laughs> your oil. But I love all of y'all. And today I just wanted to touch base and say Happy New Year's. If you haven't purchased the Manifest in Your Masterpiece book, which is a... Um, a book that I hope will help you as you traverse through this thing we are calling the human experience. I want to give a shout out to all of you out there who are in your 40s and 50s. And I want to say to you in this new year, find the time to slow down. Find the time to remember that how you are feeling is what is going to create the experiences and the circumstances that you see in your life. 
that when you are feeling low, you will have more physical pain. You will feel less energy. You will dread going to work. You just will not have the energy of momentum to tackle life's fun and adventure. So do in this new year, take the time to be present for your own life. Take the time to take care of your health. Take the time to go to your doctor's appointments if you have them. Take the time to just listen to your body because we are in the stage of life now where if you've been ripping and running and you haven't taken the time to take care of yourself, maybe because you've been taking care of your kids or you've been working, you could be a workaholic or perhaps you've been serving your mate in your life and you haven't take the taken the time to make yourself first, it's going to come back with a vengeance. And the only thing you need to be armed with is faith and a healthy perspective that will help you to navigate anything that comes a knocking on your door because your faith is your belief in your ability to manifest the things that you want to manifest. For some of you, your faith is your belief in God. Whatever it is, take up that torch and vow to yourself that in 2022, you're going to make your life more about you. You're going to free yourself from the things that other people say as they project their realities onto you. And you are going to take charge of your life. Let's get into a little bit today about these locks and the fact that I missed my last two retightening appointments. And I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to get back in, but I need to come up with a plan. And the reason is because I am tired of driving back and forth to Snellville. I need a break. I'm still getting settled in out here in the country. And I have just been running, 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 running. And I decided I was going to sit my arse down and relax. And that's what I've been doing for the last almost three weeks, taking it easy, sitting down, taking care of myself. God said, it's time to sit your butt down and God sat me down. And so I'm trying to get my lesson in the classroom of life. So needless to say, y'all know I get my baths in, right? I don't play with those baths. I get my baths in because my baths are my me time. That's the time to smell my lavender and essential oils, to soak in the Epsom salt and maybe green alcohol. If there are any nuisance soreness that I have or anything else. But more than that, it's my time to commune with self. And I run the bath water as hot as I can take it. I bring something into the bathroom to inspire myself. Maybe I read a card for the day or something else. Maybe I meditate on a word um, or maybe I digest whatever the experiences are for the day that the creator has sent me. And it feels good. It feels really, really good. So when I get in the tub and I haven't had a retightening, I get all kind of marrying y'all that happens. And I got to tell you, I haven't done anything up in here. Ooh, for at least 10, 11, 12 days. So y'all know the hair is crazy, right? It is so tangled in here. I got a patch up here where when I take my baths, the center of my hair gets starts to draw up from the moisture and it starts to marry. I've got to tackle this. But like I said, I also have to figure out when I'm getting my next retightening because right now it's scheduled for February the 7th. I can't wait till February the 7th. That's another month. And right now I have more new growth than I would like to have. Okay. Um, I told y'all when I make these oils, when I put the extra oils on my hair, my hair grows faster during that month. And I thought I had a little bit more time than I have. And the thing that I don't want to cause is excessive thinning. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all know my hair has gotten longer. It also, I noticed when I don't get my nails done and I go to Snellville for that because out here in Cordell, y'all, they just can't do nails. I'm just going to be honest. They fall off after six, seven, eight days. When I get my nails done in Atlanta, they can stay on four or five weeks. 
So guess what I'm having to consider? A do-it-yourself type of thing. At least for those emergency situations for when I can't find something one suitable. So yes, I got my dip powder. Yes, I messed this one up yesterday, but the point was to see how long I can get this to stay on because if this works, guess who's gonna be dipping and powdering and filing with that little machine that they use when I go get my nails done. When I can't get the snail built, it's gonna be a do-it-yourself thing. So I'm gonna let y'all know how it goes. But because my nails are not done, my hair gets caught in them. So I can't run my fingers through my hair like I need to. And I have to do that each morning because lately I have been kind of trifling and I just sleep with my hair down. So as I'm tossing and turning, these are the challenges of having long locks. My locks are getting tangled. And as I sweat in the bed at night, when that happens, could be menopause, could be turning the heat up to 78 like I like it at night, sleeping with 10 blankets. Whatever it is, my hair gets tangled at night. And y'all can see the length, right? You can see what I'm dealing with. So, uh, I'm a little concerned because the time it's going to take me to go through and unravel each one of these with these nails like this is going to be multiplied because my hair is going to get caught in the nails. Okay. Now, if y'all remember last month, can you see how this is, uh, sorry about that. Y'all see how this is thickening in? It's filling in like I tell y'all, right? That pluck chicken look that I always had is really bad in here. You can't see it much anymore when I tighten these up. Watch the next video. I might try to go in and tighten a few of these up. There's also a hair salon on the corner. I need to make my way down there to see if that sister might be able to retighten my locks. I just need somebody to, to do it for the next few weeks. If I can get her to convince her to retighten these locks just this one time so I don't have to do it, I will pay whatever she's asking. I'm just going to be honest. Because right now, between the nails and the hair and the fact that I don't know when the next time is I'm going to get in there, and then I'm still doing things around the house. So my nails pull like this. You see this? Which means pretty soon if I don't get it done, they're going to rip off and I'm going to have another problem. But I say all of that to say, for those of you that are waiting longer in between your retightenings. If you are waiting longer in between your retightenings, please don't wait a length of time that works for someone else. Y'all hear me say I go does not mean you go 11 weeks. Bixby, my camera, she keeps turning it around. That does not mean that you wait 11 weeks. That's what I do, all right, because I've been studying my hair. And when I can do something less than that or try something else, if my hair tells me it needs something else, then that's what I'm going to do, all right? But in the interim, when you are doing that, after about your usual retightening time or a week or two before, you got to go in and you got to unmarry your locks every week. You have to. And if you're washing your hair, which I don't do very often at all, you already know that, then you have to unmarry your locks every time you wash your hair. Period. End of discussion. There's no way around it. All right? And, you know, when I say unmarry your locks... You may also need to massage your scalp a little bit, all right? The point is you want to make sure that you do it one by one. And I know you might feel you don't have time for that, and it's going to be tangled, and it's going to be hard. But I promise you, if you happen to have bought some of this, for those of you that do, when you go in and you unmarry, you spray this on. All you got to do, loves, spray a little bit extra, massage it in. You have a towel on you and watch the spray because look, it might hit the mirror and everything else. Make sure you're careful. This is a much better sprayer than the first bottles that went out uh, maybe during the first few months of this product. I switched sprayer bottles, so this is perfect. You get more of a mist. But once it sits, then go in and just gently separate. And you're going to find that this is going to help your hair to untangle. When you're working around the front, 
areas, please be kind to your lovely tresses. Be very kind. Do not snatch them apart in impatience. Notice when you are doing your uh, survey of your hair. When something feels very, very thin, because my locks are very small up here. When it feels very, very thin, I inspect it to make sure that that thinness, though, is still consistent with the size of the lock. All right? Because as time goes on with these locks, that's when we start to see things. Remember, we're not going to see problems right away. With these locks, what ends up happening is, I don't know why the camera keeps turning like that, but with these locks, what ends up happening is you see thinning, and by the time you see it in the lock, it could have happened 9, 12 months to over a year ago, depending upon how often you get your retightenings and how fast your hair grows. Now look at this. You see, I have a piece of lint right here. Y'all see that? The old me would get the tweezers which is what I'm probably going to do and try to get that out. But that is part of the reason why I have locks that kind of have issues at the ends and so forth in the front in particular, because where my locks are thinner, especially now, if y'all notice the color is coming out, right? Look at that. Another one. The color is coming out and I'm going to leave it like this for a while because I have resigned myself to no color and y'all know who've been with me for a while I do that all the time and then I end up selling out and going back to color the color I'm attracted to now is auburn not the burgundy but I want the bright orange like the, the bright auburn like this color look at this box right here going on see this Bixby is crazy that's the only thing I don't like I don't know how to get her to be quiet or to get off my my phone she's taking over everything that i say can't wake up bisky Bix, bixby when something something i can't read that but anyway um the color that i'm really interested in give me a second i need to close this down i hear it but i don't hear any i don't see anybody calling so i don't know what that's about my phones are doing crazy things these days that's my ringtone but nobody's calling I don't know what to say. Technology. My technology has been very quirky lately. Has yours? If your technology has been quirky, quirky, please leave a comment. I would love to know. But the color I'm interested in right now is this color. And it's taken everything in me not to do it. But the reason why I'm refraining is because I think my little ends have taken a beating. So I need to give my hair a break. But getting back to the topic, back at the ranch, longer retightenings require more maintenance and investigative practices. Do not wait between your normal retightenings without going through and unmarrying your locks as, you, as the weeks pass. Definitely do not extend your retightening schedule without, that's my motion, Definitely do not extend your retightenings without doing the same. It is so important because if not, by the time I get to Ephraim or whoever does my hair, they just going to pull it apart. Y'all have seen it. They pull it apart. You hear it. It's okay to have that every blue moon, but if you're having that every several weeks, trust me, over the long term, you're going to pay the price. All right? And that's not what you want. I love y'all. I hope that y'all have a happy new year. Go get them, tiger. You got this. That's FedEx outside. Thank goodness my dog is in the yard. I went to the Piggly Wiggly this morning and got her some ribs and cut them up so she could eat the raw meat. So she will not be showing out at the door, thankfully. All right. So have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Happy New Year, and don't forget yourself. Ladies, 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 we have the disease to please. We were born with it, and it puts you at the end of the list. It makes it difficult for you to set boundaries and to keep the trash out or to put the trash out. 
And all I mean by that is to put limitations on those things in your life that steal your peace. It can be a friend, could be somebody at work. Um, I'm gonna pull a card for those of you that wanna stick around. It could be um, somebody you have to see all the time that you just don't feel like dealing with. It could be a child that you have, and we feel guilty, y'all, because we love these children. It could be a child that you have that's leaning on you. Let's say your child has a bad habit. Let's say you have a child that's on drugs, Lord forbid. Or you have a child that is in college flunking out and you're paying tuition. Or you're dealing with something else that's going on. Let's say you caught your child sneaking out of school. or Just all types of things. You take that uh, example and take it wherever. Shout out to Mel Bell, Oracle Love. I'm glad to have you back. But, um... You have to remember that while you were given that child to take them through life, it was never your job to live their life for them. No more than your parents could keep you out of harm's way and keep you from making bad decisions. You can't do that for your children. If it's the boss at work and you're taking on more work than you can take on and you're being taken advantage of, you have to speak up. You have to say enough is enough. I don't want you calling me on my off hours or no, um, after I leave the office, I'm not checking any emails. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing it. So uh, don't send me any emails at the end of the day because I can't get to them. So here's my last message for you. Innocence. Ooh, innocence, trusting nature, originality, spontaneity, open-heartedness, simplicity, the unexpected. Look at that. Be like a baby. Treat life anew in every moment. Put away what everybody else has told you was right or wrong or what you should do. And just treat every experience, every waking moment, everything that greets you each day, which is nothing but a blessing, Treat it as such and don't let anything stand in the way of you having a happy day. Because remember this, how you feel, how you perceive the world through your senses, meaning how you taste your food, how you look at the trees and see beauty rather than empty leaves and barrenness, or how you hear your child's voice and it's music to your ears versus something that gets on your nerves. That is a choice that you make in each and every moment. Choosing how to look at it. And when you choose the way to look at it that brings a smile to your face, it heals your body, it heals your life, it raises your vibration, and it allows you to bring all manner of blessings into your life. And trust me when I tell you, that is the magic of life and that is how we manifest. We manifest from here, okay? Feeling good, feeling happy and thinking happy thoughts and denying and pushing to the back anything that does not feel good, which could be beating yourself up, blaming yourself for things, wondering why you keep doing the same thing. It could be holding yourself accountable for something that you did a long time ago that you hadn't really accepted. In which case you gotta go in, you gotta doctor, take out the tool bag, you gotta rewrite your narrative and look at the situation differently in a way that frees you and let it go so that you can have your wings, okay? So let's just look at the another message, okay? Um, here we are. You're being given an opportunity to play a vital part in the now as it unfolds. We're talking about the present moment. Unburdened by man of motivations and plans for the future, you will feel light and spontaneous in whatever you participate in. This is the key. Not to worry about tomorrow. Let tomorrow take care of itself, y'all. Everything today is stealing our time. Here's the bottom line. Relaxing into the flow or relaxing into the flowing quality, quality of change will support your ability to respond spontaneously and with the right timing. You can trust in your heart to see you through these times and the heart is always on the side of the spontaneous and the real. This is where creation happens. This is where God is. In the present moment is where all the fun is. And it is the most difficult place to get to because we're always in the past. We're always recycling 
all right, or we're always jumping ahead and worrying about tomorrow because of this man-made construct that we find ourselves in where they're driving us and enslaving us with all of this material pursuit, which keeps us from standing in and being grounded in the blessings that we have been given in this earthly experience. So watch out for that. Look at this. For many people, the idea of living spontaneously can be threatening. Used to be to me like that. Y'all, I told you I had used to have to plan everything in my life. I needed a five-year plan. I needed a retirement plan. I needed to know how I was going to pay the bills next month. I don't worry about that crap anymore. Living that way can be threatening to careful constructs that are designed to handle every problem that we face from the cradle to the grave. They have a solution for you. And they, people tell you what you need to do for every potential problem. So before you even have the problem, you start planning. You're going out buying food because people are telling you there's a scarcity of food. You're going out and you're doing other things because they're telling you all hell is getting ready to hit the fan and it's going to be a shit show. So you buy into all of these things that haven't even happened, haven't even happened, that steals your joy. Live in the now because God is your supply. All right. Don't allow yourself to be shaken from what you know to be true. And you just might learn from the experience how to construct a better scaffold. The innocent person recognizes that it is natural to try to construct defenses against chaos and disorder. And it is just as natural that the scaffolding should collapse from time to time. So did you hear that? It's natural to go back and forth is what they're saying. Life is a cycle. You will have moments of freedom and peak experiences. And then you'll have moments where you'll have to sit back in that classroom and repeat a course again to help you to remember how to get to the next level so that you can master some other aspect of yourself. And that's okay. That's okay. I love this. Wow. I got to put, this is about, it's beautiful. I love y'all. I hope y'all have a beautiful day. Bye. Come back, share the video, make sure you don't forget to subscribe.